So hey guys, uh, we're going to do a quick tutorial for uh, painting cells. I uh, just need a paintbrush and some black paint. All we're going to do is first we're going to outline a cell so that we can get a temp make a template off of it. So you're just going to use control to rotate it, use shift to do a thick layer of paint along the edge. Uh, you're going to get a little bit of mess in the middle, but as long as you make sure that you get the, the edge real good, that's all that really matters. Make sure you can zoom in, but don't zoom in too much because you'll actually be blocked by that uh, bottom text there if you zoom in too far. So let's, let's check it. Let's rotate a little bit. Make sure we get this edge covered real good because this is going to determine how good our template starts and a good template makes everything easy. Alright, we'll save this. Something easy to remember like small weight cell or this is gonna be the same technique you use for pretty much any of the uh, cells. So, so we'll come over here. Uh, we're going to load up uh, the Atlas Paint tool. Uh, uh, you're going to go to your Steam folder, Steam Apps, Common, Atlas, Shooter Games, Saved, and then when you, if you make a template, you're going to have My Paintings, otherwise you're going to have to make this folder. And then we're going to look for a small weight so right here, small w, it's going to have whatever else attached by the uh, program. I got a couple other templates already made up, but so we're going to open this. And you look, it looks pretty nasty, but we'll clean it up. So you're going to save it right under the same thing, but you're going to come down here and you're going to save it as a PNG. So, so we'll save it as a PNG and so that's what we have to use for now. So we'll come over here and we'll open small generic PNG. This is using GIMP, which is free. We'll open it up and we'll come over here. We'll choose the uh, Hardness 2 brush gonna make sure that it's smooth stroke and we'll put it on a race and uh, increase the size to about 20 or so Let's see how that looks yeah that looks pretty good so we'll just kind of come in here and clean up it ain't gotta be perfect but you know just do as as good a job as you can because the next part you're gonna want to have this as clean as you can get it so spend a little extra time make sure that this is clean Once you get it relatively clean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but as close as you can get it. Alright, so once 
once that's done you'll come in here use the select by color tool you're going to select the black so you can see there's a little part up here we're gonna to have to hit and let's say most of the other stuff is uh, pretty good so let's go ahead and hit that while we're doing it so I got rid of it so we're gonna come in here so we're gonna go to select we're gonna grow our selection by one pixel so that grows the entire selection. We're going to come over here, choose black or whatever else you want, and we're going to pretty much come down and fill in that one pixel piece right there. And since you have it selected, it won't paint any of the other. So then we'll come in here again, we'll go select, we'll shrink it by one pixel and we'll come over here and grab the eraser and then we'll just erase all of it and you're going to clean up that inside line once we're done but this is going to give you a one pixel uh, template so we'll do none and we'll come in here and we'll, we'll just pretty much erase this right through here Mess that up. is going to give us our I mean it's going to give us a rough template but it's going to be a pixel outside you know if you do it right it's going to be a pixel outside of your actual paintable area on your cell so we got a couple places that you don't worry about this right here like this little place is kind of broken it doesn't have to be perfect but it just gives you a outline so that when you do your next step you are. So we're going to come in here we're going to overwrite this. So that's overwritten now. So now we're looking for something to put on here. Okay, so you have your template. Now you're going to look for something to put on it. So let's, let's look for something to put on it. Alright, so. You know who Edward Teach is? That's Blackbeard. So we don't want all this black here. So let's go in here. Let's create a, a new layer. Transparency. That's why we're using PNG because we can get away with having transparent backgrounds. Uh, we're going to select the black. Uh, select the right layer. Then we're going to select the black. Then we're going to invert that selection so that it selects everything but the black. We're going to cut it. We're going to paste it in this layer. Anchor it down. And delete that. So now we have a nice crisp white and red outlines. So we're going to come in here and we're going to select all. We're going to copy this. We're going to go back to our template right here. Uh, we're going to drop it in. We're going to have to scale it. So come up to the scale tool. You can hold control and then your, use your mouse wheel to actually zoom out. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold control and then grab this corner so that it's, it scales to the center. And we're going to scale this down. We'll zoom in. We'll move it. So that should should be nice. 
nice and centered in there now. Let's just uh, so we can anchor it down now. Okay, so this is a little better on a bigger cell, but this is kind of like mm, you know test right now. We'll come over here. We'll export it. So we're going to export it as something different. So we'll come up here, we'll do Edward Teach. And then we'll, it's going to export it as a PNG, which is fine. So we'll export, yeah. So, so now we'll open up the image converter again for Atlas. So here's our exported sale. So we'll open that up. Okay, you see it's pretty close. We'll go ahead and uh, reduce the colors. Uh, we can take green out. You can go through here and you can just remove stuff as you need. So uh, silver gives a little definition. We'll leave that in. The white. Uh, so we don't need snow white. Yeah, we're gonna need black and we're gonna need red. So if you took the red out, you see how it, and the, the black is just, well, we could get away, yeah, we could get rid of black, so that's not a problem. So the silver, you see how it gives you that definition? If we click on it, it kind of takes some of the shadow in away. And then the white is just gonna leave a silver background. It's layered, so it's not that, I mean, like some pictures, you can go through and reduce it, and reducing some of it actually makes the picture pop a little bit more, depending on how detailed a picture you get. So we're coming here and we're going to save it. We're going to save it as a PNT, which is the paint for Arc and Atlas. So we'll save it. Alright. So we'll come over here to back to the game. We're getting a nice transition. So now, when you come in here, you can delete the paint because you don't need it anymore. And we'll load a paint type. So we, we have our template here, which is that. And then we have our actual uh, outline here. So the outline itself is not going to be on here but then we'll be able to paint this just like a normal outline all right and I'll upload templates for large handling medium handling uh, I'll probably try to do a small handling too and uh, go ahead and do something like a large speed just the general templates and I'll go ahead and upload the large billboard template too it's just couple is for you to start with like the most generic ones uh, I don't know too many people who run with medium or large weight cells but I can see people using small weight cells for certain things and that is pretty much it so I guess that's it guys uh, thanks for uh, sticking with it and I hope this helps you Paint your cells. Alright, take out.